everybody. Master Marvel's here. I'm here with my compadre, Master Roberto. What's up, guys? <laughs> Full of energy right now, okay? I'm still riding the high of the new year, and I'm, 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 I'm keeping that momentum going. And you know what? I'm not alone. Right here, I printed out all the, the, the people that replied to me with their goals. I got, I got the whole cork board full and I got even more to, to print out and put on the walls and stuff. Right now I kind of ran out of room my cork board so I kind of stopped. But uh, I'm going to get the rest and I'm going to take down these, these frames here and I'm going to put all the goals on the walls in my office, okay? Guys, this is, a, this is an awesome thing. I, I, I'm really excited that, that, that I'm jumping on this and that apparently I'm not alone here. Got like 30 or 40 people that jumped on as well. I've been reading all the goals and there's, there's lots of really cool ones, you know. I see here, this gentleman, this gentleman here wants to lose 20 pounds. You know, over here, uh, I got one person who wants to get back to playing uh, uh, instruments again. You know, got a lot of cool different things going on here. And uh, now that we got all these goals written out, it's definitely a big step in the right direction, okay? But as a lot of us know, you know, um, a lot, a lot of us make New Year resolutions. You know, I'm sure it's not the first time some of these guys here, it's like some of these guys and girls have written out the New Year's resolutions, okay? But, you know, they get to the old way, the, the old saying goes, no one follows through, okay? It ain't gonna happen this time, okay? This time we're following through, okay? Today we're, I'm already starting my planning stages. That's why I have Master Roberto here come down from Naples. We're getting together to start planning out our entire year and attacking our goals, okay? He, made, he challenged me. <laughs> he said, publicly, publicly, he pulled the glove out and slapped me with a glove. Okay, he said uh, uh, he has his goals li lined up with mine. Uh, he thinks his are tougher. I saw some of them. I don't know if they were tougher, but <laughs> he put his goals side by side with mine. And uh, whoever uh, accomplishes the goals the best is gonna uh, win a thousand dollars from the other one. It's like a bet, thousand dollar bet. All right. Simple bet. Simple bet. Nothing big. Okay. So. Um, uh, that, that's that's really funny. So I'm here now planning my stuff out. Now that's the key thing, everybody. Planning. You know, I I see here, for example, we pull a random one out. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Um, lose weight and reach 155 pounds. Okay, that's an awesome goal. But this is the thing. Okay, we gotta set deadlines. Okay, because otherwise, like I said before, okay, uh, a goal. Without without a deadline, it's just a fantasy. It's a dream. It's a dream. Okay, it's just a dream. How many times have you heard someone say, "Oh, you know, I, I would like to have this or I'd like to have that," and it just kind of stays like that forever? You know, I remember I used to have um, I had an, uh, an employee of mine. I'm not trying to throw him under, <laughs> under the under the truck here, but it's the first thing that popped in my head. I had a, 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 a former employee of mine, good friend of mine, and. Uh, he was just slipping up on the job though, you know? He was having a tough time remembering to have people fill out waivers when they came in. Uh, when the people would sign up, he would mess up the agreements and forget to put their, their credit card number and stuff like that, you know? And it was just like, like sometimes the guys, he would forget to make them sign the thing, you know? So they, you know, he was making these little mistakes all over the place. And I had to sit down with him and, uh, you know, I asked him what his goals were. Like, I'm like, you know, what are your goals? And he goes, I want to have my own school one day. And I go, okay, okay, I like that, you know. You know, I have my own school too, I love that, you know. When? And he looked at me with this crazy face, like I just brought up the craziest idea. You know, I'm like, when do you want to have this school? And I could tell this individual had never even thought about the timeline, okay. And then caught off guard, he said, uh, in two years. I go, in two years? And you don't even know how to have people fill out the paperwork when they're coming in? You know, at what point, you know, you, you, yeah, at what point you learn how to do the paperwork part? You know, and then he said, uh, this month. And then when are you gonna learn how to do this and do this? And started hitting him all the different things I had to know. And there was no timeline, so it wasn't realistic. What it was, was a dream, okay? It was a dream of having his own school one day, okay? And dreams are nice, I'm not gonna knock dreams, okay? But we want results, okay? We wanna turn these dreams into actual, real things that we can enjoy, and you know, we can look back on and be proud of, okay? And to make that happen, we need to set some deadlines, okay? So. I'm gonna be emailing every single person here. It's gonna take me a while because I'm backed up with emails and I got, a lot of, I got a lot of things I'm doing, like my own goal setting and stuff, okay? I'm gonna take the time, I'm gonna email every person here and I wanna ask them to give me some deadlines, okay? The deadlines, remember we have a year to accomplish these things, but whatever deadlines we pick, we need to stick to them and we need to have a certain urgency to them. I'm not gonna ask people here, okay, to you know, put monetary deadlines. Thousand dollars, thousand dollars. Okay? I'm not gonna do that. If someone wants to volunteer for that, I will, uh, 
I will go ahead and participate in that. And if you if you fail, I'll donate the money to charity. Okay, to a charity of your choice. Okay, um, you know, but not Roberto though. Roberto, <laughs> <laughs> Roberto's thousand dollars. That's going on vacation, baby. <laughs> but, but but if someone wants to to participate and try that kind of thing out, you know, I encourage it. Like maybe something smaller, like fifty bucks or hundred bucks. You know, or you can go big boy style and, and go with more. But with that kind of thing, I put the money to charity. Okay. Um, but we need to have, you need to act as if that was happening though. So you can meet these deadlines and knock out the excuses. Because if you say something like, I want to get this done by, by March, I want to be 155 by March 20th. And then March rolls around and you go, you know what? I just had a kid. Things are very busy. I'll go ahead and push it. Let's push it to May. Oh, you know, now I'm busy again. My, my in-laws are in town and I'll push it. If you had a, but if you had somebody that was holding a check with, with their name on it and it says if this guy doesn't meet the deadline but this day I deposit it you'd find a way to get it done well that's what has a mentality to have Ma Master Lord Urban calls it gun to the head he pretends that somebody has a gun to his head or to his child's head or to his wife's head and if he doesn't meet these things but this deadline they're gonna pull the trigger okay there's no room for excuses you can't tell it's like in the movies with a psycho killer that doesn't care about your excuses he's gonna pull the trigger anyways okay so you need to get these things done so let's let's go ahead everybody uh, if you haven't sent me your goals and you want to jump on, on board and ride the momentum of this train that I'm in front of, okay? If you guys want to ride this train, email me stat, okay? Email me at info at ffagyms.com and hit me with at least five goals you have for 2010, okay? And uh, guys, this is where we're at right now. We're at the planning stages. I want you to get the goals you have, break them down to parts, and give me little deadlines all the way there. If you want to get to 155, obviously they say you have to lose 30 pounds. You know, let's break into 10 pounds. When you want to lose the first 10 pounds, by what day, okay? And make them realistic goals. Don't tell me you want to lose 10 pounds in two days, okay? Maybe you can do that with water weight, but not with with real weight, all right? And uh, for those of you guys that are, that are doing that are doing weight and you live in, in uh, I'm gonna see if we can get you videotaping yourself on a scale or maybe come by the gym and weigh yourself here, okay? Uh, Mr. Roberto, you wanna take over the floor? You want anything to add to this? Yeah, yeah, I wanna add. Oh, sir. Oh, it's, um, one, one piece of advice, guys, is a lot of people, uh, in my experience when doing goals, a lot of people uh, are not, they don't make uh, quantitative goals, okay? And most, most, notice that Master Marcus, what he was saying is 155, 10 pounds the first week, this is super important. Make sure that you put numbers and um, so that you can measure, okay? Because if you just lose weight, there's not really accountability, there's no really way to track your results. I'm an engineer, so for me, you know, everything has to be measurable in order to be able to be achieved. Uh, the other things, you know, to take advantage of uh, the good uh, free resources that are out there. Um, you know, one of the things that I love to do is to use Google Documents. Okay, if you want to lose weight, what a better way than to have Google Document where you could share with your instructor. You know, I do this with my students at Third Law. What we do is I have a Google Document, an Excel spreadsheet I share with them, and every two months, what we do is we put a friendly reminder. Okay, to that we have to meet and you know, and he sends me a text message to my phone. And I'll send him a text message to his phone. Friendly reminder, you know, and, and like that we track and he shows his goal. I can see, you know, you put your weight every day in the morning when you believe. And don't forget uh, Brian Trace's advice that once you write these goals down, I guarantee you one thing that's going to help you achieve them is if every day when you wake up in the morning you look at them and even more to help you achieve them, you write them over and over and over again every morning before you wake up. And that's about it. All right, guys. Okay, it's conclusion now. I'm gonna email me if you haven't done, if you haven't done so yet. Okay, and uh, check out our websites. Okay, we got bestfreetrial.com and thirdlawbjj.com. Correct, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, check them out. In Naples, check out thirdlawbjj.com. Okay, if you're in the, South, in, the, in the South Florida area, Miami and Broward. Okay, check out bestfreetrial.com and uh, email me your goals. And I'm gonna get, get you guys get with you guys to, uh, on the emails and then start seeing some 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 good. Uh, so good deadlines. Okay, let's knock things down, guys. Us. Peace. One more thing, everybody. If you have no idea what I'm talking about here, go to my Facebook fan page at MarcosAvalonFans.com. Okay, and on there I have uh, in the notes section. It's called. It's a, it's a note there called "Are you chicken? Accept my challenge" or something like that. It's something about chicken and challenge, right? And there explains everything about setting goals and about this challenge we're doing. All right, buddy. Peace.